Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Banner Saga. I hope you're going to enjoy this let's play, so um, I'm finally playing it. It is a turn-based RPG. The story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters witnessing the story unfold and from different perspectives. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giants survive through a tenuous alliance driving back dest destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now it's an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Okay. Doesn't sound good, does it, guys? It's a game made by Stoic, as you can see. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Doesn't sound good, does it, boys? Well, I think we just wrecked them, them guys there. So this is my first time playing this game. Um, it seems quite interesting. Right, you've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are. Now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag the screen around to see your surroundings. Okay. Or I can't say I can't do that. I can zoom in and out like that. The art style is fantastic. Look at these dogs underneath, like sniffing. Okay. So these portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, and the enemy are red. It's your turn to act, okay? Movement happens before action. The show, the, this ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tile around him shows where he can move. Okay. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies uh, are a race of giants called Val, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have huge impact in your strategy. All right. Click the tile you want to move, and then click the mark to confirm. Okay, so I'm going to do that. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Ally tiles are blue, the, animals, uh, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. Okay, so we could do... Um, you can choose to either break either the enemy's strength, which is the red, or his armor, which is blue. 
The number beneath each icon, 2 and um, 5, shows the damage you'll do on that stat. So I think I might do this. Strength. Okay, uh, strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of 2 strength means you'll do now do now do 2 less damage. If strength falls to zero, the capture falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by break, uh, by breaking attack. By breaking armor, you can open up for more of her attacks in the future. Okay. This enemy has only 5 strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Okay. Okay. Now he's down. He's down. Each time uh, you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. Okay. Now, after taking action, uh, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns away to alternate, even if you're outnumbered. Okay. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do uh, little damage against your short bang's high armor. So. Okay. Now it's your Warhawk Sunny. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use well to boost their actions with his energy to use it wisely. So that's what the two little stars are. Okay. Uh, standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your war Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique, unique advantage. Click your Warhawk's tile to access the ability. Okay. Okay, click your character's tile to bring up. Okay, so click this one. Uh, the ability description appears in the tooltips uh, below. The Warhawk Tempest allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Okay, so Tempest 1. Normal strength damage to two adjacent enemies, starting from target and going clockwise. Okay, so we're going to do that. So. Now it's my turn again. So we want to. Uh, that made quick work of the chieftain's bodyguards, where there's only one enemy left. Players into pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. Okay, if the character does not move on his turn, you can rest to gain one willpower. Okay, so we can eight whack. Okay, so the chieftain's down. Now we gained two renown. Your foes lie dying and defeated. Oh, I got five renown for that. That's pretty good. Okay, excellent. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight, and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Okay, so we're going to gather some men, I think. That'll be interesting. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. Okay. We're going to check the proving grounds. That'll be quite interesting, I think. Okay, so, it's, uh, you're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Hello. Eric. 
Eric Stewart of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ubeen, isn't it? Uh, it is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Uh, uh, what did you have in mind? Skullfings that you didn't heck up in the Great Hall. Scattered after you took their chieftain. Took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. I was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Okay, so we can meet him at the marketplace by the docks. Hmm. So, I think we want... Do we have to visit the tent? So we've got 100 days of supply. We've got 5 now. We have great morale. We've got 32 Val. So I'm hoping we'll be okay. So click the market tent to visit the merchant. Okay. Let me handle this, Eric. So, this is my character, I suppose. You me meander through the rows of open-faced houses and roaded stalls. Colored con uh, canvases flap on brine current. Briny current. One man in particular blanches at you as you approach. Had, I'm not in the mood today. For for what? Talking to an idiot. The Skullfing's chief burned out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what's ratainous the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try and kill you this time. I don't talk to they don't talk to me. Um Eric, do you need some help? Had. I had a change of heart. I hope you give us a hard time. Had. Sweets visibly fumbling with the dirty trinkster on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everyone thinks I'm getting worked over by uh, over every week, how am I supposed to know to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? You motion, uh, motion to Gunalf. Your enormous bodyguard who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. God, Zarek, laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the skull things? Noblemen up by East Wall, but that was months ago, last I know. <laughs> Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hobble, disappearing for a while, and she blows over you. Uh, blows over. You figure your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gun off. Were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, just put them while you're walking around here. Why? No. You look like a frog. Ah! Better than an eggplant. Gun off goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he, he's used. He's been. He used to be scoffing. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to an old haunt, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall. Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who'd love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Okay. Shouldn't we have approach, have an approach of some sort? What well, a luxury! Come on, you've already mocked up the worst today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. Okay, guys, that's been interesting. So we have to go to the mead house, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I shall hope to see you next time on the Banner Song. I hope you liked it. I'm going to get into it. I love the art style. I love the music. So cool. Look at this. I can zoom right in as well. So amazing. So, oh, look, more people are coming in. Alright. Hope to see you next time, guys. Ciao for now.